So today's video is about my tips for freezer meal preps, what you can make and store in the freezer and how you can store it. The first thing that I am making is chicken puff pastry. I make it with lots of vegetables. Here I'm making it with broccoli and mushroom. It's such a good after school snack and if you add veggies in it, it becomes healthy. So to store them, I've just brushed it with the eggs and the sesame seeds and now I'm just layering them on top of a chopping board and I am using the sheet that comes in the middle of puff pastries and I pop it in the freezer in a layer to set. I'll show you what I do with it later. Moving on, I am making some burger patties. I have made two batches, one with beef and one with chicken. I have a recipe for this. I'll put it in the description box. The only difference is that this time I made it with vegetables because as I said, trying to up our vegetable intake. So I make the patties and put them on the chopping board just like how I did with the puff pastry. I'm using these silicone chopping mats. These are really good. I'll put a link for them as well and then just put a little bit of plastic in the middle or you can also use a baking paper. And this is some chicken that I marinated in tikka masala. And once it was marinated, I put it in the Ziploc bags. Ideally, I should have written on them before freezing, but I freeze them flat. So you can see once I put them in the bag, I flatten them. And this is what everything looks like after it's been frozen overnight. I do leave it overnight and I take it next out in the next day so that it has frozen rock hard. Now look at how easy it is to take it off and just put it in these Ziploc bags. This way they will take less space. They will not stick to each other. And when I need to cook them, I can directly put them on the pan. No need to defrost. Just put them on the pan, cover it for a couple of minutes so it thaws and just cook it like a normal burger patty. I'm doing the same with my chicken burger patties, putting them in the Ziploc bag. I also add a date to it, even though I know we will consume it within three to four weeks maximum, I guess. That's how long they last. Um, and then same thing with the chicken puffs, taking them off and putting them in the silicone uh, cutting boards. I use them anywhere to chop my vegetables and meat. And I also use them as like a little sheet to store my stuff. I'll put a link for them in the description box as well. And this is what everything's like. I'm using this little Ikea basket to store everything in. These are some leftover shami kebabs and all of this goes in my freezer. This is some patty left from my last batch and that's all my uh, marinated meat. I have to marinate more, I'll do that. And this is what it looks like. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you did it.